All right, here we are. We're back for another episode of Food on the Run. This is episode two. We just ate some Taco Bell. So uh, thank you, Kathleen. The Vanna White to my Pat Sajak. Thank you. You're welcome. How's everybody doing today? How are you doing today, Kathleen? What's going on? I am doing pretty well. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It is hot. I'm glad that we... I was really hungry today and um, <clears throat> I got... I, I got the same three items uh, two times in a row. But the two times that we've had Taco Bell, I've got the same items. So I'm not going to eat them in front of you guys here on YouTube today, which may be a letdown. Maybe you're, you're like, what? I came here to watch people eat food. But uh, the thing is, we already ate it. But I wanted to share with you, the reason for this video is to share with you what those three items are. And I've gotten them two times in a row, and I've enjoyed them two times in a row, okay? And that is the Mexican pizza from Taco Bell. Item number two is the grilled cheese burrito. Item number three is the chalupa, just a beef chalupa, okay? And I think it, I don't know if all the chalupas are Supremes, because in order for it to be a Supreme, it has tomatoes and sour cream on it, right? That's the only difference. And this had tomatoes and sour cream. So, uh... Does it always have them? I think it always does, but I never order a Supreme, so I think it's just... Yeah. I think it just comes that way. There's no other like way to order it. I guess I could tell them no sour cream, but I, I like how it is. It's pretty good. Today's chalupa wasn't as good as uh, last time's chalupa for some reason. Uh, it was colder, I think. Uh, it seemed like the other one was hotter. I don't know. Maybe it was sitting there for a while when they gave it to me. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but can we go to the cemetery so that I can see if my cemetery dog is there? Yeah, we'll go to the cemetery. So it was colder this time? Yeah, the chalupa was colder. Um, the, the meat was colder. It seemed like the bread maybe wasn't as crispy as uh, times before when I ordered it. Dad, I have a long road. Yeah. Um, I ordered Mexican pizza and a bean burrito grilled. And my bean burrito grilled wasn't as delicious as it was last time as well. It wasn't? Yeah. The so, tortilla kind of seemed a little bit old or something. So something happened uh, where they, they were slipping today mm -hmm. in Taco Bell. But the, the, the lady working there was super nice. Yeah. Yeah, she was really kind. Mm -hmm. um, so they've got that going for them. Yeah. I'm looking for my dog out here. There's a dog I don't see at him. the graveyard. And we've come out here a few times recently. We've seen a dog that runs up to us and we've fed him french fries. I don't see him. Yeah, he's gone. We've been here a couple of times and haven't seen him anywhere. We are at uh, the Wasco Veterans Memorial those who paid the supreme sacrifice in World War II. So we got all the names right there. Let's see, we got the flag. So yeah, this is a random video, not really uh, too much about food, but <laughs> I, I guess we could talk about food yeah. some more and show people the cemetery as we drive around. Yeah, it's this might be interesting for some people to see because if we've got viewers from Finland, for example, they won't be used to seeing cemeteries like this because they have the giant tombstones and... Yeah, the really beautiful uh, tombstones and uh, 
Did they have a mausoleum there? Yeah, sometimes they do. Mm -hmm. I remember being at a cemetery in Finland, and it was... <coughs> they were covered in snow. It was really beautiful. Really a beautiful sight. Yeah, it was cold. It was really pretty. That was the day we visited the sea as well, the frozen sea. Yeah, the frozen sea. It was amazing. Yeah. So there used to be a golf course out here across the street from the cemetery. And it's been closed down for many years now. But And it looks like <coughs> somebody burned it a little bit. Like, yeah. What? Looks like a fire has broken out. Maybe it, somebody set a fire. Or who knows what happened. It wasn't like that the last time we were here. Yeah. We, are, we strangely visit the cemetery uh, quite often these days. It, it feels yeah. like Yeah. If you can see that and then there's a guy parked there hmm. somebody burned a big part of the front wow. face of the building huh? and what's strange is they are they're actually renovating that building oh they are and and it's but part of it's burned now that's strange yeah it makes me wonder if that if if someone's angry. See how it's getting renovated? Yeah. See the side of that? Oh, yeah. I used to collect golf balls behind the golf course because we used to throw cotton right next to it. And my dad would hand me a bucket and say, go, go fetch the, the golf balls. He probably didn't say it to me like that. But anyways, um, it was so much fun because there'd be so many golf balls. somebody to find the golf balls and bring oh, them back. Wow. Well, we I remember hearing about, about that, that when, when I was younger. Uh, I don't know. Wasco State Prison. Another interesting place. A, it is a maximum security prison. It's probably housed some celebrities over the years. Uh, I remember they uh, during the OJ trial, they talked about if he was convicted, he would probably uh, be sentenced to serve out his term right here at this prison, at Wasco State Prison. Really? Yeah. I didn't it's hard know to that. see. It doesn't. Camera. This camera doesn't do it justice to see how yeah. massive it is. You know, and it's hard to really see that. Yes. A lot of employees there. A lot of cars. Yeah. A lot of jobs at this prison right here. See some CEOs walking around. And then there's a giant rose because Wasco is the capital of roses. In one of my homes as a kid, I could see the Wasco prison lights. And then in another home I lived in, out in the boonies, I could see, and I would imagine Charles Manson escaping and coming to my house. Because <laughs> that's the prison he was in. Yeah. He's working in prison. Why do you think, why would you imagine him <coughs> coming to your house? Was it a fear that you had that he, oh, he could get out? I wasn't scared of that idea. I, I didn't, I had a bay window and I would, in the middle of the night when everyone was sleeping, I would open up that bay window and I would sit and, uh, on the edge of that window and look up at the moon and stars and look down at the dogs and talk to them and howl with them because we could hear coyotes howling and we'd all start howling. That's cool. And and I would just imagine uh, Manson ex escaping and and you know coming out to our place and I it, but it didn't like I said it didn't scare me. I think that because I would look at the prison lights and know that he's there. Yeah. 
but it didn't, the idea of it didn't make me fearful or, or anything at all. I kind of imagined him looking like a hitchhiker with a, you know, carrying one of those, those, uh, like stick and bag hmm. type of Like the fool? Things. Yeah. The fool archetype? What's going on up here? I don't know. It looks like we're going to be stuck here. We can capture this road worker here on film. <laughs> so do we have to stop and talk to this guy? I don't know. This person's going to turn around. Oh. I so we're going to we probably have to turn, turn around, around too. Hmm. Oh, he's asking. We have to turn around. Road is closed for for now. Well, we apologize for not eating on camera in front of you. And I promise the next video we will eat in front of you. We'll show it all. You'll get to see us chew, you know, smell the food, unbox it. Uh savor it, lust over it. You'll see all of that next episode. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you for watching. We do have the bag here. So you didn't come, uh, you didn't fully get gypped on this video. <laughs> Here's the trash. We actually <laughs> had food in here. We ate it and we enjoyed it. So here's the Mexican pizza box. But thank you for watching and, and joining us on our little trip here. And we will see you next time. Remember to help us out and subscribe. Thank you for doing so. Thank you once again. Goodbye.